Hello and welcome back to Taylor's Hands. This is Lachlan and we're going to have a quick tip Tuesday today and we're going to answer the questions on everybody's mind. Does size matter? Yes it does when it comes to threads. But I know what you're thinking. You're thinking Lachlan my machine can only hold these size spools. How in the world is this going to work for me? And this is how you do it. What we have here is a thread holder for cops and cones by Dritz. This is a heavy duty model with a cast iron base, metal spindle, and a metal thread guide. Make sure you get this variety because to confuse matters, they also offer this. This is complete rubbish. It's all plastic. And as you see by the one that I use for my uh, basting threads, it's as wobbly and flaccid as grandpa's. Now you are going to pay a premium for this model, I believe it's about $20, which I think is a little expensive for what it is. But I do believe that it's one of those things that comes in handy, it's, it's not necessary if you're fine using small spools. But once you get to a certain point uh, within your uh, professional uh, growth, you're going to start wanting to use cops and cones uh, just for economy of time. And also it is a little bit cheaper to run the, the larger ones. Now to set this up, it's very simple. Just set your threads down just to the rear and to the right of your machine. Place your cop or your cone onto the spindle. Bring your thread up and thread it through the guide. From the guide down to the bobbin, through the bobbin hole, and then you just thread your machine as normal. And there you have it. A very simple addition which allow you to run larger cones and cops. It's a lovely little addition to make things a little bit easier in your workroom. So please like, subscribe and share.